<laughs> Yo, here we go. I think I'm live. I think I'm live. Here we are. What's up, Leo? What is going on, fabulous Leos all around the world? Uh, my name is Kamala. I'm a psychic medium. You might know me from TikTok. I, I actually will assume that maybe you know me from TikTok, and that's the reason why you found this video. Uh, thank you for joining me. Um, I am excited to do a year forecast for Leo. So I got my favorite deck here. I'm going to start in. Let's shuffle. Let's get things started. Let's figure out what's going on for January all the way to the end of the year. So let's do this. I am suddenly so cold. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> January vibes, right? I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what the first couple of cards are. Ooh, I shouldn't be feeling a chill at all because I see that finally somebody's starting 2022 off with some passion. Ace of Wands energy here. It is like a, a gift from the universe. I think that this is also, maybe if you're not feeling super passionate about everything that's happening in your life, I just want you to see that there is a new beginning happening for Leos right now. Um, I'm super excited for you guys. Um, I have to say that every other sign that I have read, so the previous like five months or whatever uh, that of signs that I have read, it's been tough. So finally here, Leos, for you guys, what I've got here is this beautiful start to 2022. Maybe this is going to start to gather some speed uh, as this month starts to head towards February, but there is a creative spark, okay? You have got maybe, maybe you want a little bit of adventure in your life and that's what it is. Maybe you're ready to really tackle health goals. Uh, maybe the adventure is like, if you're single, you're ready to mingle, okay? <laughs> I just see that there's a beautiful opportunity to say, I'm excited. I'm enthusiastic. I'm ready to try something new. That's a great way to start 2020. So 2022. Oh my God. I keep saying that 2022. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I can be an airhead. That's okay. I own it. So let's go on to February. All right. So February, the, this, this is where I think, okay, for, um, for Leos that they go from passion, like the lion, they're like, rah, they like, just like, they just like attack. They're all in. And then what ends up happening in February, it's like, oh my God, maybe I bit off more than I can chew. 10 of wands energy. It's like, oh my God, I, I had all this energy. And suddenly I'm like, I have too much like on my plate. I am carrying too many tasks. I'm overcommitted. I'm overworked. I'm burdened. And uh, I mean, look at my happy little stick guy. Okay. The happy little stick guy here is like, uh, I am going to be crushed if I don't allow this cycle to end. And I have to start to delegate these responsibilities to other people. Also, energetically, I don't want you to absorb too much energy from other people, whether it is a partner, a coworker, friends, family members. Don't energetically carry, especially if you're empathetic, if you're an empath or if you have intuitive capabilities. I don't want you to carry all that extra energy. I want you to understand, give that responsibility to the person that should be in charge of that. And as you start to move from February to March, you're you're like, guess what? From carrying all this burden, you're like, guess what? I'm literally done with this. I'm done with this. It is like, I'm ready to find a new path and I'm leaving this behind, okay? Because this is not gonna work, okay? I had all this energy, I you know, my career, I maybe it was for love, maybe it's for health. You tell me in the comments below what, what your, how January starts off for you. Tell me what you're working on. And then let me know if you finally, you know, by February start to realize I've bit off more than I can chew. And I feel like I have too many tasks and that you're ready for a new beginning. You're ready to say, hasta la vista, sayonara. <laughs> and this also can be an indication if you've been dealing with uh, like, maybe this is an on again, off again, love relationship. Maybe you're like, guess what? Bye. I am not dealing with this anymore. I'm leaving the situation of on again, off again, and I'm done. 
I just know what I'm worth and I'm, I'm ready to, to say I'm opening myself up to the universe and I'm ready to, to take a risk on myself and know that there's something better for me. Even if I'm not certain where this road leads, I want you to see that the path is literally lined with gold because the universe wants you to succeed. The universe doesn't want you to be in the a position of burden. It's like, I think that this could be, you know, the, the, there could be a disappointment that happens in March and that you're finally like, guess what? I'm leaving it behind. I don't need to continue to carry that negative energy with me forward. So in that regard, I'm super happy with like the start of the first quarter for Leo's. This looks really good. I feel very positive. I do feel like this eight of cups is definitely uh, about love because of the quarter two card that I just pulled two of cups reversed. Okay. For the month of April, I think I see heartbreak. There's a disagreement. There's a breakup disharmony. Okay. You left a relationship and now as a result, you're like dealing with the feels of having left that relationship for April. Okay. Or maybe, you know, maybe you're in a committed relationship and it's just like there's disagreement after disagreement for the month of April. Don't forget that every challenge is setting us up for getting us into greater alignment with our highest self. So if you're kind of like, I am, I don't want to hear this. And you just like, you're going to bail out on watching the rest of this video. I'm telling you, don't do that because, um, I just intuitively already sense a really beautiful journey for Leo's for the year 2022. Okay. So let's see here. So here we go. Okay. You've got that, that relationship that doesn't work out in April. And what happens is, okay. Four of swords reversed for the month of May. Okay. Sorry. Seven of swords. I was like, wait a minute. That's not right. <laughs> seven of swords reversed. Okay. And this is about perhaps if you are in a love relationship, okay, and, you know, here's the here's the breakup because you're tired of the on again, off again. I suspect for the month of May, you're going to realize that there that somebody was being deceitful and dishonest with you. This could be literally catching somebody red handed in the month of May. OK, this is not for every single Leo out there. This is for a sum that I have to read this for because, you know, I'm intuitively being guided to, to share this information with you and with the right people. Uh, this is like this is literally somebody's might confess to you. They might admit to you why this breakup, this happened, why it might admit to you why things have been on again, off again. And it's going to confirm why you chose to leave that relationship, which is great. You left the relationship first. Okay. Or even if your other partner leaves a relationship, you're, you're going to stick to it. You're not going to go in and out of commitment. I, I see that this eight of wands, um, sorry, eight of cups energy that's here for the month of March, uh, that you commit to it. And you're like, guess what? This relationship is falling apart. I'm going to listen to a confession. I'm not going to be sucked back in. Okay. Because for the month of May, uh, sorry, month of June. Okay. Yeah. Month of June, you've got seven of cups reversed, seven of cups reversed. Now, what that means is that you, you're going to have the reality check from this relationship. Okay. Reality check, month of June, start of summer. You're like, hey, man, I'm looking at this option. And even though they're trying to maybe get me to come back into the relationship, you're 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 having this this moment where you're just like, I feel like this relationship just has me feeling trapped. I, I don't have options about what I want to do with my life. I'm not being supported. Uh, maybe the person doesn't believe in your bigger dreams. This person doesn't want you to actually succeed in your life. I'm starting to get the energy of, for some of the Leos out there that you're dealing with a toxic relationship. I mean, all of this, okay, especially with the next card that comes out for the month of July, which is the start of quarter two, which is the hangman reversed, okay? Hangman reversed. And this card is like, you know, is about resistance to admitting 
oops, to admitting everything that you've been through. I feel like the this the hangman energy, okay, is is like you're unable to let that relationship go. I think that if this is resonating with you up to this point, I would tell you this this feels like karmic love. There's definitely love there, but unfortunately, the way that you guys play together in the relationship is just not helping helping either of you guys. There's just a lot of conflict here for Leos for the for well, so far up to the month of July. <laughs> and don't worry about that because things will uh, will ultimately, like I say, are working to balance out in your life to be able to bring in, um, you know, release from the situation. You don't need to put yourself up, you know, hang yourself up and needlessly sacrifice yourself. You also don't need to stall and keep yourself in this place of sacrifice a moment longer than you have to. OK, so watch out if you have a past uh, partner who's trying to come back into your life that tries to guilt trip you into uh, bringing bringing yourself into a relationship. OK, oh. <laughs> keep it real i'm knocking stuff over so as you start to realize you don't need to needlessly sacrifice yourself and keep yourself hung up in this past relationship the path out of this okay out of this and tapping back into the passion that you start january with is to get connected to your get connected to your dreams and for the life of me i don't understand why she's running around um missing her bikini top but <laughs> just saying. <laughs> oh my gosh. It just makes me laugh. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> now this is all you're going to be able to see while you watch this, while we, while I sit here and talk to you about the month of July, I'm so sorry. But every time I see that card come out, I'm always like, why do they illustrate her? Just like, you know, boop. <laughs> So here we go. All right. So here we go. So this is the star card. Okay. And this is like, literally it's chasing those big dreams, getting tapped into tapped in, tuned in, lit up on having hope and faith and, um, believing in the bigger dreams that you have for your life. This is also like spiritual rejuvenation. Okay. You see, like you're getting your emotions balanced. You're learning how to give and to take. And um, what I see here is that finally you're getting a, a bit of balance in your life. And you're saying, guess what? Particularly for love, <laughs> you're like, I don't need to have this. I need to have a new vision of what about what love needs to be for me. So I'm excited for you. This is this is an opportunity for you to say, I am worthy of a bigger love, okay? Particularly if you've been dealing with any kind of toxic relationship. Um, and I really feel like I was, I, so I had a moment here and I'm like, well, maybe for people whose love life are just smooth as a, like a, a pond, right? You know, there's just no movement. It's just like things are very smooth and relaxed. I'm like, maybe I should offer a career reading in terms of all of these cards. But Leo, I really feel like this year is, is going to be focused on relationships. Okay. So let me keep going with this. It could change, you know, cause like we're, we're at the start of quarter three here. So I'm pulling cards for August and September now. So let's see what comes out. Let me shovel it up, shovel it up. <laughs> Let me keep going. These cards are so thick. I can't even tell you like they're, they do not like to shuffle. Let me just, I'm just going to do a quick shuffle here. Bum. <laughs> Sorry if that's like really loud. Oh, they're really hard. <laughs> they're really hard to shuffle too. Cause they're so like the, I don't like, it's like that's printed on cardboard. Okay. So let me keep going. <laughs> Maybe I just need to work out myself. Okay, here we go. Yeah, okay. So what happens is, oh, this is beautiful. I like it. Okay, so you get this vision here for July quarter three of 2022. You're like, okay, I got my dreams. I have hope. I have faith. I'm building a bigger vision for my life. What do you do for the month of August? You rest, okay? You're like, chill out time perfect vibe for August. You're like, I'm chilling out. I am saying that I need a little R&R. &R. 
take time to relax. You don't have to rest inside a crypt, okay? Go to the beach, hang out at a lake, uh, get grab a towel and put it out at a park, okay? It's time for you to rest, recuperate. It's time for you to heal and you need to take a break. It's a beautiful way to say, I am going to listen to my dreams and I'm going to take a break, okay? And I'm going to get myself energetically sorted and better aligned for the rest of the year, okay? And then September hits. September, it's like back to school. We are in the energy of pumpkin lattes or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it, it's the rush. It's it's getting back to building things in our life. I mean, October. August is always about rest, right? It's like the last bit of summer. So soak it up. And then you're into September and it's like, okay, I, I'm like, I like uh, the holidays are going to get started. Uh, you know, if your family, if you have family, they're back to school, um, which six of cups here, what we have for September, okay, is you being nostalgic about uh, about life and about memories. This happens a lot of times for September as well. People can be triggered and be like, it can be a good trigger too. Like let's say the love of reading books, right? Maybe that's something that you always loved when you were younger and you're like, I'm going to go get a really great fiction book and it's, I'm going to read it for the next couple of weeks. Um, but this is a different type of reflection. This is you tapping in even deeper to the type of experiences that you had for your life up to this point. And you're like, guess what? I'm ready to look inward. I'm ready to look at memories. I'm ready to shine a light into the areas that don't serve me anymore so I can break the toxic cycles of relationships. And again, that can be a relationship with a partner. It can be love. It could be um, coworkers, uh, family members, friends, like you name it. You tell me, drop it in the comments, okay? But you, what you're going to do is you're going to look even after you're done resting in August, you're going to look even more deeply at your past in order to bring more healing into the present moment, which will help to change your future going forward. So let's shift into quarter four of 2022, October, okay? We're like, I just had this image of us being astronauts and like, we're, we're gonna like time warp to October, 2022. Let me, whoops, whoops. <laughs> here we are. October, okay, is, is, it, I th what happens when we do the deep inner work, the shadow work, nightmares start to come out. Okay. Instead of taking the fears and the hurts and the betrayals of the past and letting it be sort of like a nightmare that uh, keeps us up at night, you're facing the monsters. You're facing the nightmare. You are definitely, um, you're experiencing the anxiety from doing the emotional work. I want you to feel positive and reassured as you do this in October, which is a great month. You know, you think of Halloween, monsters, ghouls, goblins. October is a great month to, to face the goblins that are underneath the bed. Okay. October. You're facing the nightmare. You're experiencing the nightmare. It is setting you up for November, which is assertive action, which is slaying the monsters. You are ready to say, I'm not scared anymore. I have got heroic energy happening in my life. I'm taking direct action Leo, this is such your vibe, okay? This is such your vibe, okay? Leo's, I mean, it's like, we are going to hear you roar in the month of November. You ready? Are you ready to roar? Okay? Because look, he, the little stick guy is, he, he's got his sword. Okay, good thing I'm, I'm very equipped. I got my sword and charging forward into the future. Okay? <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. I'm that good. I literally can pull the Knight of Swords right there. I can bust it out. It's a, officially a Game of, Game of Thrones sword here. Thank you to the Goodwill or wherever I picked that up. <laughs> but that's you. You're going to be rushing to action. So let's figure out how the year is going to end for December. 
bomb. I love doing that though. I'm just like such a kid at heart. Let's figure out what December, what direction. Here's the last card. Wow. So then what happens, you're going to continue to have that night energy and you are safely starting to patiently bring in new abundance into your life. Okay. So this is new abundance, but also look, the shield of this night, right? It's different. He's like got the helmet on, right? And this is about you have identified how to protect yourself from carrying the load that you don't need to carry, okay? You understand how to uh, get still, be calm, collective, assertive, uh, empowered. You see how the horse is standing still, unlike the action that you took the month before. It's like that moment in the Lion King where like, I don't know, one of the lions is standing at the top and it's like, I'm the king, right? This is you. That's the energy of you. Like you're literally standing at the top of the hill. You're looking at the vista and you're seeing all the possibility that you will have for 2023. So it's really a beautiful place to be. This is an immense period of soul growth. You are growing as an individual. You're understanding how to heal yourself. You're understanding how to um, how to set up healthier boundaries in your life. You're understanding who needs to be in your life and who you need to protect yourself from. And by making that specific choice about who you allow into your life, you will start to experience a, 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 you will start to experience something totally new in your world. And that's this going back to the, the wish, the dream, the hope of living life without this type of conflict, without this burden where you're tapped back into your passions, you're trusting your dreams and you are epically, you have the vision, you, you understand that you are cultivating and bringing in something entirely new for yourself. Um, Leos, I'm just proud of you. I just want you to understand you've got this. 2022 is going to energetically upgrade you. I want you to understand even in the areas, the moments in your life where you start to lose faith, you start to lose hope. I want you to understand that th that moment of hopelessness is not forever, okay? So just keep tapping into your biggest dreams. Keep being passionate. Protect yourself. And... Um, and, and realize that like you will be tapping in to um, you'll be tapping back in. It, you'll get right back into loving your life and, and loving the relationships and loving the foundation that you have built for yourself as a result of the work that you do in 2022. So my name is Kayla Hurley. Uh, down below, you can get more information about who I am, what I do, where to hang out with me. Um, uh, oh yeah, I love saying this. I have to get used to saying this on YouTube. Please like, subscribe, ring the bell, and drop me a comment about how you feel this review went for you, Leo. I'd love to connect. Um, always feel free to uh, send me a DM on Instagram um, because I love replying back to people, getting to know you, um, helping you to love your way forward in life. Um, that's it. I will see you in the very next video. Hang out with me on TikTok. Uh, I got 17,000 uh, plus followers there. I do uh, live readings, uh, free readings there. I have... Um, a Facebook group with 15,000 people. I'm just starting to get fired up on YouTube. Um, so, and I'm on Instagram. So, <laughs> so, Hey, you can find me. I'm around. Uh, that's it. Leo's. I love you. 2022 is going to be a year of courageous loving. That's what it is for you. Okay. I will see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>